Hey guys, it's Danny. Alrighty, today I'm gonna show you something a little bit scary. So here I have my Dendrobium Phalaenopsis. You might know I purchased it, oh, I don't know, a week ago or something. So he's been sitting in a corner with some other new orchids that I just didn't have time to attend to and pretty much got ignored. And today I took a look at him and behold the aphid apocalypse so i'm gonna bring you in a little closer so you see what i'm talking about now you see all of those spots either white either even a little bit red either green yeah those are all aphids now aphids are a pest that affects all sorts of plants not only orchids but they do really enjoy orchids as well particularly they enjoy to munch on fresh growth like flower spikes flowers new canes or pseudobulbs that are just developing pretty much everything that's fresh older leaves they're not necessarily their favorite thing on the menu but they will definitely have a go at them if they have nothing else to eat now the bad thing about aphids is that they can carry virus it's one of the main vectors through which virus spreads in between plants they suck the juices of an orchid puncturing whatever structure they feed upon so what they do is direct sap contact if they feed on a virus plant and then go feed on a healthy plant a little bit of sap remains on their mandibles i'm not entirely sure if i can call them that but anyway the virus spreads through sap and you can see that on my orchid i have quite the big colony i'm not entirely sure how i missed it but i did luckily this orchid was kind of separate it was among other new orchids so i will have to treat those as well but at least i will not have to treat my entire collection so you might think oh wow danny that's some scary stuff right there well you know what i say you have no power here luckily aphids are one of the easiest pests to treat and to keep under control you don't even need to get an insecticide and you know me i don't like insecticides so today i'm gonna take you along and see what we're gonna do about this orchid and tell you how i'm gonna treat this infestation let's get to it so as you notice most of the aphids are sitting on the flower spike and on the flowers now luckily for me the flowers are on their way out so the easiest way for me is to just cut the flower spike and throw away the flowers now presumably you would have an orchid with which is just blooming and you really don't want to cut the flower spike well in that instance you need to apply the treatment that we'll get to on the flowers and the flower spike as well in all nukes and crannies as a side effect the treatment might affect the blooms but think about it this way those blooms would be affected by the aphids anyway so you can choose in between letting the aphids destroy the flowers or you destroying the flowers i think the treatment will do less damage than the aphids so because i don't really care what happens to the spike anymore it is done I'm just going to cut the spike and then I'm gonna place it in this disposable bag. It's not gonna go in the trash bin of the greenhouse. Also, I'm gonna throw away this stake. You can see I have aphids on it as well, pretty much everywhere. So I will dispose of this stake as well. I don't intend to reuse it anyway. Next thing that I wanna do is dispose of all of these dried leaves. Some aphids might stay on them just passing by, they're not actually feeding on dry material, but aphids don't really have good grips, they can always fall. And by the way, if you're ever in this situation, you might want to go with your plant somewhere outside or in the sink or put some papers or something underneath it because aphids will fall off when you work with this plant. Okay, the next thing that I want to do is go to the sink and shower this orchid. The reason is that I have quite the infestation and I want to get rid of some of the adults. Showering the orchid will make sure that most of them will go down the drain but it's not the complete treatment alrighty time to give this orchid a little shower try to wash the pot as well aphids do sit on the pot if they happen to fall there The next thing I will do is get rid of the pot and the potting medium. This is a new orchid, I want to transfer it in my setup. Of course, if you have an orchid with a pot that you don't want to change or a medium that you don't want to change, you don't really have to do this. Aphids actually don't borrow in the medium. There might be a few aphids on the top that fell there, so you would have to treat the top layer of the medium, depending on the medium. In my case though, things are a little bit simpler. So I'm gonna throw away this pot and this medium again in this disposable bag oh this circuit is not doing bad i'm actually happy to see this So now I'm just gonna go over the sink and continue to clean the root system of this orchid and we'll come back with the treatment. Also, I cleaned up my working tray here and now I'm just gonna sterilize it with some alcohol. I usually do this after each orchid, but aphids are really sensitive to alcohol. Problem is some plants are also sensitive, so a mix with alcohol sprayed on the plant is not necessarily a good idea in all cases. 
but for disinfecting working areas, it's perfect. Alrighty, time to prepare the solution. I have here a spray bottle in which I will put some water. I'm using osmosis water because it tends not to leave any salt residue on the leaves, but tap water is perfectly fine. Next, we will need some dish soap. Now, any type of dish soap usually is okay. I've never experienced any damage, but this doesn't mean that some plants and orchids are not sensitive to dish soap. So if you by chance have a mild dish soap or an organic one, you might want to use that one. Today though, I'm just gonna use whatever I have in the greenhouse. So what I wanna do is add one or two drops of this dish soap, mix it a little bit and we're ready to go. And now it's time to spray the orchid. Now we did shower the orchid, but water alone doesn't kill aphids. We only did this to get rid of the majority of aphids. The less pests on an orchid, the more chances we have to reach every nook and cranny with the solution. Another thing that I did, and I didn't mention, I got rid of all these dried sheaths as much as possible the ones that could easily be removed. I have a few here that are not easily removable, but they're very tight. Aphids and other pests can hide under these sheets, particularly if they're loose. So it's a good idea to remove them if you can. So what I will do now is spray my orchid without its root system, but with the base of the canes with a soapy solution. And I will touch the underside of the leaf, the upper side, the entirety of the canes as much as possible in between the leaves. Oh, I saw one, see? You always miss a few. So showering alone is not enough. I think that will do it. So now I'm just gonna prepare the pot and the medium. Alrighty, so my orchid is all potted up in the new setup that I am testing out right now with the pebbles. One thing that you should keep in mind, whenever you do treatments that include water or liquids, you need to be careful that you don't let them pull for too long in between the leaves in the crowns of orchids, particularly when you're dealing with monopodial orchids such as Vandas and Phalaenopsis. Pools of water can lead to rotting if they don't get to evaporate in time. Within an hour after the treatment, just check the orchid and if you see pools of water, just get a tissue and remove those pools. Now, luckily, soap breaks water tension and what it does is make the water evaporate much, much, much faster. You wouldn't actually believe how fast and I do have a video where I test this. If you by chance want to see it, I'll link it down below in the description. So theoretically, you shouldn't have much problems, but keep your orchid ventilated as much as possible, at least in the day of the treatment, just to make sure that water doesn't stay pulled in the crevices. And that's about it on the treatment. Now, if you don't trust yourself with treating your plants with dish soap, that is absolutely fine. There is another option. If you go to your local flower shop or garden center, most probably you will find insecticidal soap. What it is, is a non-toxic substance based on soaps. Some of them might be based on some oils or contain some oils. Pretty much it does the same thing. The soap used in those substances might be milder. And those products actually do work wonders with aphids as well. Aphids are really, really easy to kill. So if that option sounds more appealing to you, it's perfectly fine. When it comes to insecticides, I really don't think it's necessary with aphids. There is a place and a time for every substance, of course, but when it comes to aphids, I simply don't think it's the case. And all of the precautions and safety measures that you need to take with insecticides to me are just not worth the trouble. So the choice is yours. Now, after the initial treatment, I would still keep this orchid separate just to observe it for a week or two and see if I have any more aphids that I might have missed. Usually after a first application, I should get rid of all of them, but if I missed one or two, then I'm just gonna observe this orchid and if I see anything, I'm just gonna spray it once again. I might just spray it again after a week just for the fun of it and pretty much after that she should be ready to go. And I'm actually seeing an aphid that's dying here, <laughs> which is good. So anyway, when you're using substances that don't poison the orchid or the plant in any way, it's a good idea to keep the plant under observation for a little while, maybe respray. And pretty much after two applications, at least with aphids, you should be good to go and you should not have problems anymore. Alrighty guys, thank you for watching this video. Hope you found it useful and interesting. If you've enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe to my channel for daily orchids and plants videos and don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss a video. And with that said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! The Francis Fox is making me wait so long, but look at this flower spike. It's so tall and it's already forming its buds. Usually this orchid produces two flowers, if I'm not mistaken. That's what I've seen in pictures. 
and I'm not sure, do I see more buds here? I think I have more buds. Who knows? I'm really, really looking forward to this orchid being in bloom.